I got the shirt you sent me right here. It is already unboxed, okay. but I'm okay. going to unfold it now. All right. For the first time. All right. All right I got to see it first, man. Yeah. Whoa, dude. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to make another t-shirt for a YouTuber. You may have seen the video I did last time. This one right here for Shimmy. I'm going to do this for Ryan Hoag. He's another YouTuber out there, a friend of the channel. I interviewed him before. This time I'm going to do a t-shirt that he likes, that he wants to wear. Um, he's going to wear it to the Bitcoin conference in the future. I'm going to do this one just like I did Shimmy. I'm going to meet with him first, kind of get an idea of what kind of t-shirt he likes. Then I'm going to show you the design and how I made it. And then we're going to meet up with Ryan again uh, and get the reveal on he's going to see the shirt that I made and send it to him and we're going to talk about it. And then a bonus, we're going to see him wearing it at the conference. So all of that in this video. Let's start this video right now. All right, everybody, I'm here with Ryan Hogue in front of the show. I'm going to do a t-shirt. Hey, Ryan, everybody knows Ryan, I, I think. If you don't know Ryan, he has a YouTube channel. He does print-on-demand stuff, almost hitting 100K. Depending on when you're watching this video, he might have already passed 100K. So thanks for joining, Ryan. Good to have you on the show. Yeah, Juno, thanks for letting me be here, man. And hopefully, like you said, I'll be at 100K by the time this airs. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, good luck. You're really close. So... um. So in this video, I wanted to kind of figure out what kind of shirts you want to wear. I know I, I want to make you a shirt, but I don't want to make you any shirt. I actually want to make you a shirt that you're going to wear. So I kind of want to figure out like what's your style. And so I know everybody has a different style. Um, do you have any examples that we can see that uh, you would like to wear? Any example t-shirts online? For sure, man. I, I definitely have some examples because I... Uh, okay. well, if we're being honest here, I definitely showed you the examples like uh, a month ago. So you've been hard at work getting that design created. But let me uh, let me screen share real quick, and I'll kind of right. show you yeah, let's what I had sent you. Share with everybody what you have here. Okay. Cool. Oh, sweet. And, uh, is it up? Yep, it's up. So, this is so a classic. Actually, Love this. The first thing I'd say is, you know, what's funny is when you ask me like what kind of shirts I wear. The honest truth is, I wear a lot of like flat, like one color shirts that don't have yeah. any designs on them. So <laughs> me too. This is more like. Yeah, this is more like what I think I like when I wear graphic okay. tees, even though I normally don't. So the first one that popped into mind was I love the uh, distressed kind of vintage look of this okay. classic. You know, it's funny is the design on this shirt says I'm classic. And this shirt really is a classic because it's always yeah. in like the Amazon merch top 10. Top 10, yeah. Unreal. <laughs> so I love the vintage effect on this shirt. So I sent you that one. Oh, good. Okay. I sent you this Orca shirt that I think uh, if we use the search merch tool and we type in a keyword that um, maybe Orca doesn't have that stuff, many results, yeah. we see a lot yeah. of Orca shirts. And it's For not the Orcas reason. that I like. I like the uh, the rainbow sunset. kind of like okay. sunset in the background. And it also so, has a distressed kind of texture on it too. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, I'm I've a sucker a for the sunsets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then I just really like the... Bitcoin, I, I was thinking, you know, I'm going to the Bitcoin conference here in um, in uh -huh. April. So depending on when this video okay. airs, I may or may not have already gone. And I was thinking of some like cool Bitcoin designs. Really, you can't go wrong with with anything Bitcoin themed okay. in my book. Yeah. Essentially, this one on Etsy, I love how they marketed it. Um, this one right That's here a is a beautiful one. I, I don't know how somebody made that design. That's well That's outside awesome. my ability. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another like Bitcoin, like outer space, lots of colors. Yeah. I don't know. But it has that that rainbow colors that you you like in the other one. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm into yeah. the spacey stuff too, so that's kind of cool. And uh, one final one, and I don't know, man, I don't know how they did this, but like they have that kind of like, uh, is is the right word? What's the movie like? Didn't there? It's almost like um, what movie am I thinking of? Where you kind of just disintegrate? Like, is it Leonardo Ooh. DiCaprio movie? Is it? Uh, oh no, it's kind of like Avengers, man. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. When the snap. Yeah, I don't know why right, I wanted maybe. to say like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. So, I'm, so I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm really the liking theme. these design styles. So we got uh, what I'm looking at, what I'm gathering is you got the, the vintage design, kind of stress um, rainbow colors, and uh, a, a bunch of these also had some astronauts, so space theme kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, that's good to work with. A lot of good yeah, stuff the outer space stuff there. is big, and it's big in the crypto space. So Yeah, because it's like to the moon or something like that. <laughs> to get right? to the moon. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm I can, excited I, to see what you did. Yeah, uh, I 
I, I actually I, I got a lot of ideas and I'll put them all together. Um, kind of handpicking, and I'm going to put an Easter egg in there, so we're going to have to look look for that uh, a Ryan Hogue Easter egg in there for you. So be cool, dude. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. That's all cool. Um, well, that's it. So we the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff that you gave me and I'm going to work on it. I'll go into affinity designer, maybe get some clip art from Vectizi or, or stuff like that uh, and put it all together, but make an original design um, that nobody else has. You'll have the first one, an original one. So I'm excited to do it for you and, and hopefully you can wear it to that conference. So. Cool. Juno, man. I really appreciate it. I'm excited to see uh, what the, what the outcome looks like, man. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks for letting me do this. I had the, I had this idea that I was going to do, you know, t-shirts for famous YouTube designers. I mean, famous YouTubers. And you're, you're one of the famous YouTubers that I know. So wanted to make sure that I, I do it for you. Nice, so man. Internet famous. <laughs> <laughs> Internet famous. I love that. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you back after I make it and we'll, we'll open it up and, and see how you like it. Thanks, man. That's a plan. So here I am in Affinity Designer. I got Ryan Hoag's designs that he liked here from that video we saw earlier. So you can see a lot of these have the vintage sunset. So I'm gonna start with that vintage sunset. I'm just gonna draw a circle here. You can use this uh, circle tool, ellipse tool in here and just draw a circle. And the way I like to do it, there's lots of ways to do it. I like to put rectangles on here. So we're gonna just do this just to kind of place them first. And I'm gonna make them black to match the background. And just to kind of get an idea of how thick I want it and stuff. So maybe right there, maybe right there. There, I'm just eyeballing these, right? And kind of get it closer and closer as we get down like that. You can do whatever you want. And then what I like to do is I like to draw the rectangle. So I'll do this like this of the color that I want. And let's say I want it this color here. Let's just use the red here like that. And I'm going to copy this a, a few times. So as many times as there's layers here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times there's already one. So seven more times we just hit command J one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. And then we'll hit this and this, and then do a command. Um, what is it? This one right here intersect. So now we have that and we can make it that color, right? So simple as that. I'm going to do it again six more times. So just take this and kind of match it with the line that you just made like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's going to do it anyway. And just make sure it's bigger than the circle, right? And then let's get that color, this second color right here, right? And then we can do this and intersect again and make sure we get that. And so I'll do that over and over to get the right color. And if we put it here, you can see I've already done it. So all of these are separate now. So now that we have the vintage sunset right here, we it's time to put some graphics. Now I could draw graphics or something, but I'm gonna use Vectizi since I have an account with them. I'm gonna find um, astronaut since the, we had the space thing here. Um, let's see, astronaut would be good since they're here some Bitcoin stuff. I got to check, make sure that we can use Bitcoin stuff and then maybe a moon or something. This one doesn't have a moon, but with the astronaut and a moon seems to work out with moon and stars kind of spacey theme. So let's do that. I'm going to go to the internet and look for those things right now. All right. First things first, let's check if we can use Bitcoin and put, can you use Bitcoin logo in Google? And this is the result. The Bitcoin logo itself is free to use for both commercial and non-commercial use. So we're good. If you want to do Bitcoin stuff and use the logo um, for designs, go right ahead. I, I think it says it's safe right there. So let's go to Vectizi. I'm going to do uh, astronaut first. Astronaut. How do you spell it? Yeah. And let's find a good one. I want something like that stands out, but I also want it just black and white. I don't want all these colors just so I can use it with other things. I want the Bitcoin thing to stand out first. This one right here. I like this uh, astronaut. So we're just going to use him and not any of the other stuff. We'll just cut him out and then maybe use some of these 
uh, stars and things, but I'm not gonna use space adventure or things like that. And that's one way to make it different than what's already out here, right? Nobody will have this exactly because this is different. So um, you just hit download now if you have the Vecteezy app, if you if you have an account, I have an account. Um, next thing we're gonna do is Bitcoin. Let's see if we can find some Bitcoin stuff. Um, yeah, so many Bitcoin stuff. You can use any of these. I want something a little more dynamic, like this one right here. So we're gonna use this right here. Uh, I like it because it's falling and kind of has a 3D look, so it's gonna like pop out a little bit better. Uh, and then, let's see. I want it to look vintage, so I'm gonna do vintage moon. Let's see what we come up with. Um, it's like a, Vectizi has so many, so many cool things. Like, uh, I got a lot to choose from, right? see I just want a moon like um, there and this one perfect yeah so we'll just use this it matches the I want it to match the astronaut that's why I wanted an astronaut without colors and then we don't have to worry about colors we just have to worry about style and this has black and white just like the astronaut does so I think it will work perfect so those are my three things I'm gonna use the astronaut, the moon, and the Bitcoin stuff, and go back and bring them into Affinity Designer, and we're gonna start from there. So here we are back in Affinity Designer. You can see I put the astronaut here in front of the Vintage Sunset. I kind of cut his legs off so that he's inside of the Vintage Sunset. And the moon here, I kind of put it outside of the Vintage sun Sunset. You can see it's breaking the line here. And both of these, I gave a black outline. So you can see it matches this outline, and I did that just so it can match, right? Um, and it's, uh, you can see, let me click on it. And this is how I did it. You can see the black outline right there. And I did it like that. So if I turn it off, you can see there's no outline. It's like a ghost, but then I did a black behind and then an outline as well. So if I turned off this outline, it was like that. And you add the outline right here, right? That same thickness, same thing with the moon. So I think that kind of gives it, a uh, way for it to match the vintage sunset that we made on our own, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in the Bitcoins and the stars. So the stars I got from um, that graphic with the astronaut, we saw that. And then the Bitcoin, you saw those. And I gave the Bitcoin as well, um, just so everything is cohesive, right? The outline again, so same thickness as this outline, as that outline, so they're all kind of working together, even though they're different graphics they work together because they have that same outline, right? So you wanna look for ways to tie these in together. And I, of course, it's giving that space theme. And I put one of the Bitcoins behind the astronaut so to give it that layered look again. So because it's smaller, it should be further back. The bigger one should be in the front, right? So that's how that kind of works. And you, it's nice to give that interest too. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a font that says Bitcoin to the moon. And I'm gonna type out the font here, Bitcoin. Now you could do just a regular font veneer, but I wanna do one that um, fits Ryan's style. And I know he loves sports. So I'm gonna do a kind of like a vintage sports font. And I'm gonna go here and use this one called Sant Elia script, but I'm gonna do black and make this be a big B. And I wanna do it, like one thing that will make this look more vintage sporty is to like tilt it on its side like this, and then go to transform, and then I'm gonna type in eight right there, and then do negative eight on this slant, so that's gonna just slant it back just a little bit better. So you can see what happens. See that? See the difference? So that's cool right there. I'm gonna put it like right here and give it that black outline as well. So I can, you know, let's see if this works here. I'm gonna do a J, Command J, put it in the back and then the black outline back here and give it that same thickness, right? So you can see kind of like that. And then I'm gonna do kind of this swash and I'm gonna just draw it um, I'm gonna do it better than this, but this is a quick way to draw it. You can just go like this and come out, you know, like that. Of course, I'm gonna do it better, but you can see, you can just freehand draw this thing like that. And 
do something like that. I'm going to have to thin that out right here and then put the words right here to the moon. So that, you know, that kind of swash, that vintage thing. So let me show you, I already did it here. So there it is, Bitcoin to the moon. I put this behind again to give it layers and I use these Bitcoin logos. We know we can use them uh, as eyes right here. So Bitcoin all over the place. Uh, and this to the moon, we saw, um, we talked to Ryan and they use that a lot, Bitcoin to the moon uh, with the astronaut. So of course it all makes sense. There's the moon to the moon, so all ties in. So the next thing I wanna do is to add some kind of secret, um, well, Easter egg for Ryan. So if we go up here, you'll notice this one right here has three lines. I'm going to zoom in and I thought it would be cool to put an R and an H here for Ryan Hogue. So that's what I did here. You can see I kind of just took the letters out, took the lines out and kind of made it more of an R and H. And I added a little bit more stars, added some stars here as well, just to give it more of that space look. And so that's the secret Easter egg. I'm going to show Ryan. Um, just like I did with Shimmy's, I put an Easter egg in his. I thought it'd be cool. Okay, and the next thing, let's put some distress texture on it. So you can see I added some distress texture. It's just at the top. So this thing right here, if I open it up, this texture, if I turn it off, you can see there's no texture and this one does have a texture. And the last thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit more texture. So this is the this is it right here with two textures on it, just to give it a little bit more. And that's it. This is gonna be Ryan's design. I'm gonna knock it all out, uh, make sure that it, it works and it works on different colors. And there you go, that's what I'm gonna to send to Ryan. I'm gonna box it all up, put it on a t-shirt and send it over to him. The next video, we're gonna see him open it and get his reaction on how he likes this Bitcoin to the moon t-shirt. Everybody, I'm here with Ryan Hogue. It's been a few weeks and I got him his shirt. Hey, Ryan, how you doing? Hey, glad to be back, Juna. Hey, so I I showed on my video how I designed your shirt. I'm excited to show you what I did so you can see it and um, get your reaction from it. And then I'll, I'm going to show you um, kind of what I did and where I put the Easter egg in your shirt. You might have seen Shimmy's design. I put uh, yeah. his name. I did something else for you. You don't have any Japanese on your shirt, but we'll, we'll see what the Easter egg is. All right. You want to take a look at your shirt and see what you... We, yeah, man. I can't wait. Yeah. The the design you did for Shimmy, by the way, was like incredible, man. But I got the shirt you sent me right here. It is already unboxed, okay. but I'm okay. going to unfold it now. All right. For the first time. All right. By the way, love the Bella Canvas quality. Oh, Beautiful. nice. All right. I got to see it first, man. Yeah. Whoa. Dude. Actually, you know what? If I hold <laughs> it this way, I can see it in my reflection on the camera. This oh, is that's amazing. True. There it is. Bitcoin to the moon. The, the people saw me design it, but uh, a lot of that you don't know is from Vectizi. So I really, yeah. So I didn't draw the the moon guy. I did the I did the text. So the things that I got from Vectizi were the moon, the Bitcoin coins, uh, and the astronaut. Okay. But I did design the the text to kind of go like that with the um, you know Bitcoin with the vintage swoosh. I guess you want to call it. So. Dude, I love this shirt, man. Like, I wish I had your your skills. Like everything oh, about yeah. this, it's the a, colors, the practice. vintage distressed, like the. <laughs> oh the yeah, astronaut. so you you said you wanted distressed on it and the um the vintage sunset, so that's see. what I put in there. Yeah, the print, the color came out pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah. thanks for showing it. There we go. It's in in fact, there. that's if you, oh, uh, yeah. So your Easter egg. Originally, the Easter egg that I was going to do for you is I was going to put a cap backwards, like how you wear it, on yeah, top yeah. of the astronaut. <laughs> but that it just funny. didn't work because my style with their style kind of... So what I did instead is if you see the middle, look at the middle part of oh, his I chest. I see it. I see it. I found it. Yeah. It's RH. RH. Yeah. Yep. Right there. Ryan Hogue. <laughs> That's sick, dude. There you go, man. Well done, man. This design is beautiful. The colors are amazing. I love the font too. Like, yo, shoot me the name of that font if you if you don't know it off the top. Oh, yeah, head. I have it. I own that font. So I bought it. It's uh I can't think of it out the top of my head, but uh yeah, I'll I'm definitely shoot font, it over guys. to you. Look at that font. It's like a baseball yeah. kind of style font. Yep. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking I know you love sports, so I was like, oh, we should do more of a sporty kind of a uh, font here. 
Dude, I, yeah, that's amazing, man. And uh, it's good luck, too, because Bitcoin's been on a little bit of a run lately. So maybe it'll just kind of keep going up on its nice. way to the uh, to the Bitcoin conference where I'm going to wear this shirt to the Bitcoin conference and I will yes. report in and send you a video from there as well. OK, so the next thing we're going to see, I'm going to put it at the end of this uh, so everybody can see the video that you went to the, to the conference with it. It's going to be awesome. And then so this will be released right after that. So thanks. Perfect. Thanks, man. Ryan. This yeah, awesome. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Anytime. What's up, Juno? We made it. We're here in Miami at the convention center. We're at the Bitcoin conference. Everybody's got their swag on. They're loving. I'm loving my Bitcoin to the moon t-shirt. So thank you again for designing this for me, man. I'm happy to wear it here and uh, all the best.